Hello, this is the fourth video of a four vector series for OCR Pure Core Further Mathematics, and the title is The Angle Between Two Planes. The scalar product and angle between two vectors was covered in previous videos, the Vector 1 series. So the angle between two planes can be found using that scalar product. Cos theta equals the scalar product of two vectors a and b divided by the magnitude of those same vectors. So the angle between the two planes is the same as the angle between their two normals. So we can adapt that scalar product formula to represent that situation. If you can imagine the dark red plane extending beyond as shown and the angle then with the paler red plane then hopefully the diagram shows why the angle is the same between the two normals N1 and N2. In this example we are asked to find the acute angle between the following two planes. So 2x minus 3y plus z will have normal 2, minus 3 and 1. And we're taking the dot product with the normal of the second plane, 5x minus 2y minus 4z, which has normal 5, minus 2 and minus 4. The scalar product then is 10 plus 6 minus 4, which equals 12. The length of the um, first will be the square root of 2 squared plus minus 3 squared plus 1 squared or square root 14 and the length of the normal vector for the second plane will be 5 squared plus minus 2 squared plus minus 4 squared equal to square root of 45. Theta will then be inverse cos of 12 divided by square root 14 square root 45. Which is 61.4 degrees to three significant figures. In the second example, we are again asked to find the acute angle between two planes. Slightly different notation and form of equation is used. So for plane one, we can see that the normal is two 2 and minus 5 from the Cartesian equation and we can see from the um, scalar product equation of a second plane that the normal is 4 minus 3 and 5. Calculating the scalar product we obtain 8 minus 6 minus 25 or minus 23 and the lengths turn out to be square root 33 and square root 50 respectively. So theta in this case will be cos to the minus 1 of minus 23 over square root 33 square root 50. This calculation would give an obtuse angle in which case we would need to take it away from 180. So the fact that we get 124.5 means that the acute angle will be 55.5 degrees. In the next video, we will look at the intersection 
of a line and a plane.